Welcome to the Gary Stewart Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Gary Stewart, head coach of the men's basketball team. And coach, uh, this stage of the season, you guys get a benefactor of a pretty good schedule. You guys played last week on Wednesday. No game on Saturday. Still working hard, though, in the gym. And then uh, play on Tuesday and then finish up at light coming on Saturday. Talk a little bit about that hood game and that effort that you guys saw in that game. Well, I thought we did some really good things. We got to a great start. We had really good energy and and um, uh, we defended well. We were able to keep the ball out of the middle and um, had uh, a good first half. In the second half, um, Ben um, got into foul trouble, mm-hmm. and so um, that uh, changed the complexion of the game a little bit. And then uh, Johnny Rhodes had been playing exceedingly well. You know, he was six or seven from the field at that um, uh, at the point that he was injured. Um, we lost him for the rest of the season, so that was significant as well. And somebody who's been playing well as of late or throughout the season is Cameron Hayes. Talk a little bit about his effort in that game. It's it's amazing. As a, uh, usually, freshmen hit the wall, and he's able to uh, power through that and and uh, keeps getting better. And uh, you can see a lot of the things that we're asking him to do come to fruition, and, and that's really really bodes well for us uh, moving forward. We're excited about him and his development. Let's talk about our lone senior, Michael Bird, having a pretty good season. Of course, Tuesday night is going to be senior night, and we'll be able to honor him. Talk about how his leadership has you know, benefited the team. Well, Michael is a guy that um, um, is a really good, conscientious student athlete, and um, he is um, a person that we will sorely miss. We were um, uh, happy with his production. Uh, from a basketball perspective, but really uh, uh, what uh, uh, his future holds uh, is, is bright, and, and we're enthusiastic about looking uh, forward to his uh, his career. He certainly has been a catalyst for the team, both on the court and off the court, getting guys motivated to do well in the classroom and on the court. He has been. He's uh, he's an excellent citizen, and and uh, as we mentioned, a conscientious student, and and uh, he's a guy that um, uh, came here and and uh, played on some really, really good teams mm-hmm. and a championship team uh, his sophomore season. So um, we're going to miss him. He's, uh, he's, uh, his attitude has permeated our locker room, and, and uh, being the lone senior, he had a tough job and did it well. He absolutely did. Now let's talk about these games that you got upcoming, first on Tuesday night and then uh, light coming on Saturday. What's, uh, what are you guys aiming to do in these games? Well, we, we see Alverni on, on Tuesday, and – and uh, they're playing very, very well. They've got uh, a whole host of guys that can put a crooked number up. So we'll have our uh, hands full defensively there. And then um, uh, Lycoming's leading our conference and and uh, has got a group that is connected, and, and they're a handful on both ends of the floor. And, uh, you know, th- with the age of our team, and we've been through peaks and valleys this season, uh, you're going to go through those peaks and valleys inside of the game. Uh, talk a little bit about what what these valleys are doing in terms of preparations for years to come with the the players that we have? Well, from a coaching standpoint, it's really um, beneficial to see what you need to address. You you don't want to go into a summer or spring and have to guess, and and, uh, we know what we need to do moving forward to improve. um, And uh, there's some glaring areas that we need to address, uh, both with uh, the returning student-athletes, and then we've got to recruit some uh, people that – uh, can help us. And then the third component to that is we've got to get healthy. We've got some people mm-hmm. on the sideline that are um, outstanding uh, tr- um, student athletes. And so uh, we will uh, benefit from those guys getting healthy and getting back on the floor. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this week. And uh, we'll be looking forward to talking to you post game at Alvernia. Thank you, Joe. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Joe Wamba. This has been the Gary Stewart Show. <laughs>